we already know that evolution cannot occur at once. Rather, small changes get accumulated over ages and finally a change is selected. Even the intermediate changes can be selected like in planaria. Planaria are flat worms which have simple eyes called rudimentary eyes. These are just eye spots which help in detecting light. But still these are useful as they provide fitness advantage to planaria. It often happens in course of evolution that a change earlier used for one purpose later becomes used for some other purpose. A very good example of this is that of feathers. Initially, feathers provided insulation in cold weather, but later they were adapted by birds for flight. It is said that dinosaurs had feathers, but they could not fly. But still we can say that birds and dinosaurs are very similar in the course of evolution. And as we know that dinosaurs are reptiles, so we can say that birds and reptiles are very close in the course of evolution. That is, they might have shared a common ancestor at some point. Let's understand evolution with the help of current examples. We'll take the example of wild cabbage. Wild cabbage was grown 2000 years ago as a food plant. It generated different varieties of the plant by artificial selection. Some farmers many years back chose to breed the variety having short distances between their leaves. This variety is the cabbage that we eat. Likewise, some other farmers selected the breed of wild cabbage with arrested flower development. This breed is now known as broccoli. Some others selected the variety with sterile flowers, which is the cauliflower that we eat. While some other farmers selected swollen parts. These are called as kolarabi. A wild cabbage variety with slightly larger leaves called kale was also bred similarly. So in this example, we saw that all the varieties of the cabbage were selected and were consumed by us. So we cannot say that a variety selected later is better than a variety selected earlier. Though evolution has formed more and more complex designs, but we cannot claim that the simpler designs are inefficient. We can see this by taking an example of bacteria. Bacteria is one of the simplest forms of life, but still it can survive the most inhospitable conditions, like it can survive in hot springs, in thermal vents, or even in ice. Thus, we can say, that evolution cannot be equated with the progress. Rather, it is just a measure of diversity. For example, if you remember the example of beetle population, new beetle species formed was not better than the already existing species. Rather, it just evolved because of genetic drift and natural selection. Now, let's see evolution in humans. Human evolution is also studied by excavating, studying fossils and by determining DNA sequences. Because of the great diversity in human population, because of color, these humans are divided into races. Humans in these races have black, white, yellow or brown color. We all know that a white man is not evolved differently than a black man as they both belong to the same species of Homo sapiens. These evolutions of humans having different characteristics, in this case color, is because of different environment around them. The earliest Homo sapiens were traced in Africa. From there, they traveled all around the world. In all this course of travel, 
humans evolved based on their location and different environment while trying to live the best they could.